bad baby, no squeezy. Hello YouTube, it's your boy Pop the Bounty Collector here with another video for you guys. This video is going to be all about the Funko Pop pickups that I got in the month of April. So, I got a lot of heat over here, got some good ones, some new ones, some old ones, but I'm going to go ahead and show you all the Funko pickups that I got for this month. Alright, so the first one, uh, or should I say first two, are part of a GameStop mystery box. It's the Mandalorian mystery box. There's four pops that were in the mystery pop, uh, box, and these are the only two that I wanted out of the four. Now, the reason why I pulled the trigger this month is the Mandalorian season three uh, was ending in, in the month of April in this month. So I wanted to pull the trigger on these two because I had a feeling that potentially these might be going up in price and I didn't want to pay more than what I paid for these two now. So I'm like, do it now, you'll regret it later. So first one I have is Paz Vizla. Now this one I definitely wanted to pick up. Um, and if you haven't finished Mandalorian season three, what are you waiting for? Do it. But if you haven't, I'm not going to do any spoilers in this episode, but you need to get this pop. So definitely got Paz Vizla, got his knife all ready to go, an amazing pop. Glad that I got pulled the trigger on this. Uh, second one is uh, actually a cool pop going all the way back from season one, Muddy Mando. So Muddy Mando, the detail on the mud on this pop is amazing. Like, man, if you were kind of thinking like, I don't know if I want to pull the trigger or spend money on this pop, you definitely need a Muddy Mando in your Funko collection. So definitely, these are the two that I picked up uh, the beginning of the month. Now, the other two that I'm about to show you right now, a little story for these two. So back in 2019, my boy, uh, a fellow YouTuber, Star Wars Sith, a.k.a. Tony, told me, you need to start watching Star Wars Rebels. And I'm like, I told him, I don't watch cartoons. Those are for kids. That was my comment back to him. I, I love Star Wars, but I only watch the featured movies. Obviously, this was before Disney Plus came out. So I was not into any of the Star Wars animated series. Uh, and he kept on telling me, you need to jump on it. You need to jump on it. So back in 2019, uh, I actually got sick, uh, which I was out from work for about a week. And all I was doing is just homesick. So and that's when Disney Plus came out and Disney Plus had all the animated uh, series on there. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and watch Star Wars Rebels. And oh, my God, Tony, you are right. This is the only time I'm going to say it, but Tony, you were right. Uh, Star Wars Rebels is fire, and if you haven't watched it, what are you waiting for? Ahsoka's coming out in August. So, I'm trying to complete my Star Wars Rebels set, and these two I definitely needed in the collection. And the first one I'm going to show you is Sabine. So, this is what I call Unmasked Sabine. This is actually not my first Sabine pop. I do have the Walgreens version, which is the Walgreens exclusive, where she has the helmet, the Mandalorian helmet on, but I definitely needed Unmasked Sabine in my collection, and I'm glad, like, the hair, man, the hair just does it for me, but with the Ahsoka show coming back, or coming on, sorry, not coming back, but coming up in August, uh, Sabine is in it, you're definitely going to need to pick this up before the prices go up, and then this one, I had to pull the trigger uh, because the prices are going up. And again, like I just said about Sabine, with the Ahsoka show coming in August, the prices are going to continue to go up, up, and up. So I'll pick it up. And I, this is not my first 
of this character, but this is the original version. Chopper. So I do have Chopper from 2017 Star Wars, a celebration exclusive, where it is dis distinguished Chopper, Imperial, uh, but I, I definitely needed the regular one. And like I said, the prices are going up now and with the Soka Show in August, is going to go up, up, and up. So I definitely needed Chopper in my collection. Now, I'm just missing two Star Wars Rebels Pops to complete the set. I'm missing the Inquisitor, and I'm missing the big one, the Grand Admiral Thrawn Pop. Uh, the thing that kills me is I had the Inquisitor. I had it. Bought it for five bucks at Walmart, and I sold it because, again... My mind back in 2018, 2019, I don't watch Star Wars animated series. I don't watch cartoons. So I let it go. And now I want it. And now that's like over $100 now. So those are the only two I'm missing from my Star Wars Rebels collection. Hopefully you guys will see a video soon that I completed my set. And I will put up, put up all the Star Wars Rebels in those videos, in that video. So hopefully I get that pretty soon. All right, so the next Funko Pops that I have here are actually from Star Wars Celebration out in London this year. Um, I was able to get into the Funko booth. Um, Funko was a little bit disappointing. They only get brought out two exclusive pops this for Star Wars Celebration. That's a um, whole different video that I could complain about what, what happened. But you know what? I got into the booth. And I had to pick up the two that he had available. So the first one that I have here is Jar Jar. So Jar Jar Binks. Uh, fun fact, this is my first Jar Jar Binks pop. I don't have the GameStop exclusive or the original. That's like 150 plus right now. So I definitely needed a Jar Jar into my collection. And look at that Star Wars Celebration sticker. So definitely needed it. Thumbs up Jar Jar with the tongue out. And then the other one that I picked up that was exclusive is the two-pack R2 and R5. Yes. So actually, this is my first R5. I did not have the single pop version. So I definitely needed to pick this pack up. And if again, if you're watching Mandalorian Season 3, R5 is in Season 3. So definitely needed to pick that up. And again, that Star Wars Celebration sticker, the paint. Dirt, rust, looks amazing. So I definitely needed this. And then the other pop that I got from Star Wars Celebration in London was free. Who's not gonna take a free pop? So what I did was uh, we went into the Funko panel. They had a Funko was out there in Star Wars Celebration and they had Emily Swallows, AKA the armor as the host of the Funko panel. That was amazing. Uh, and over there, they gave out videos of all the lounge fly, all the new Star Wars Funko Pops that are coming out in the near future. So it was cool to kind of see uh, all the new stuff that Funko was and la slash la lounge fly was dropping. But at the end of that panel, they told everybody, we got a free gift for you guys. Go ahead and get your free Funko Pop. So I was like, hey, I didn't care what it was. It was free. But lucky, uh, I didn't pick up this pop in the Funko booth because I thought about it and then I said no nah, let me just get the two exclusives and then I went to the panel and I got the pop that I wanted but for free which is the frog lady so the frog lady got that special edition what, what I like to call special edition European sticker I don't know I don't remember I don't know if it's either Walgreens or Target she's a Walgreens or Target exclusive here but I definitely wanted the frog lady. I kind of felt like her prices is going up and something that might be vaulted. And I love the Mandalorian show. So why not get the frog lady? And it was free. So that was awesome. A Funko to give out something free and at the end of the panel. All right. So the next Funko pickup in the month of April is, was actually delivered while I was out there in Star Wars Celebration. So I was kind of nervous because uh, leaving a package out by the door until somebody picks it up, you know, you, we get kind of nervous if it's going to get stolen. But lucky it didn't. 
Uh, my girlfriend came home in time, secured the package, sent me a picture, and it was great to see it, that it was home safe inside. Definitely needed this. Mando and the speeder with Grogu on the side. So definitely needed this pop ride. Again, if you guys see all the most of my pickups, Mando related. I love the Mandalorian show. Definitely needed him in the speeder. I missed out on the first time it dropped on eBay. After it dropped, people were reselling it for seventy to ninety dollars. Was not gonna play those those flipper prices. So no, I waited. They restocked, got it at the regular price, and now I have it here at home. So love this. And then my last pickup for the month. So again, it's kind of sticking to the Mandalorian theme, right? We could, we could call April Mandalorian month. Um, this character or the species of this character, there was three of them that kind of stole scenes in the Mandalorian. And uh, this character here is actually from the Star Wars, the, the sequel movies. It's Baba Frick. Now, again, I needed this and I wanted this because his species is in Mandalorian Season 3. There's three of them, and they're hilarious. So I'm hoping they do a three-pack. But, yeah, definitely need to pick up this guy right here. 10-inch, it was a good price. Took it out of the box. Have it next to my TV here out in the living room. And all I keep on saying is, bad baby, no squeezy. Right? All right. So I had definitely had to pick this up. So those are all my pickups in the month of April. Just happened to be all Mandalorian kind of theme, Star Wars theme pickup. I was going to Celebration. Mandalorian Season 3 was on in the month of April. So who knows what's next month? Well, next month. Probably going to be a little bit more Star Wars, but it could also be a little bit more anime. You won't know until you check out the next episode. But I want to thank you guys for watching my pickups for the month of April. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I got more videos coming out soon. I appreciate you guys. See you later.